You're recording with what? Recording. Recording? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth annual Chet Ito Memorial Tournament right here at California Billiards in Mountain View, California. We're down to the second day of uh, play and getting down into the deep side of the winner's bracket. The match, you see Ronnie Alcano right there practicing for this match. It's Ronnie and Rodney Morris. So we got eight left on the winner's side. It's gonna be a gonna be a race to eight. We're still on the race to eight side, and I think they're ready to rock and roll. Uh, somebody told me it's race to eight on both now. All the way down the line? Yeah, all the way. Okay, winner's side and loser's side is I running. thought it was only seven, race but eight. then somebody told me it was eight. Now, don't take bathroom breaks here when Rodney's at the switch, folks, because Rodney is called a rocket for a reason. He gets down, and that ball moves. Ooh, there's one of my photos up online for you with Mr. Morris himself. There goes one of the computers. Okay, so Rodney breaks. He's got a pretty good shot on the one here. It's okay. You can't hurt that thing. He actually took one extra stroke. He took yeah, two strokes on that shot, which is very unusual for him. Got a lot of roll from being jacked up on the ball. He's got nice touch this morning. Rodney always has a nice touch. I've never seen him play when he doesn't. This is POV Pool live streaming to you from the California Billiard Club in Mountain View, California. Okay, he's got We'd a good like angle a on the thanks. five there. We'd like a quick thanks out to our sponsors, Kamui Tips and PlayTheGameClothing.com. Ronnie gets a little over roll, but not bad. He'll pull it right down, right down between the scoring panels down here on this end. One, two. Good overcut. Oh, they ain't even started yet. I thought they're still practicing. Uh, we all we all got t carried away here because uh, Ron Rodney racked them and thought they were rolling. Anytime they want. Don't wait for us. Okay, folks. This is the official. They're gonna. So Rodney's gonna be breaking for the first. Sorry game. about that. We thought that was the first one because they uh, talked, racked, and went. This is the beginning of the match, folks. Rodney Morris, Ronnie Alcano, POV Pool. Brought to you by Kamui Tips. Playthegame.com. Playthegameclothing.com. Don't forget about the new California Sports One Pocket League. You know, they're a sponsor of this tournament, too. Very cool. I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that. Thank you, Kentucky. Appreciate that. This is Mike Brown along with Kentucky here as your commentators for this match. Ronnie looks very relaxed. He's ready to play pool. They're professionals. I mean, this is what they do for a living. Yeah, they better be relaxed. Good point. Good point. I mean, this is their job, you know. We got two of the world's best here right now. Okay, here we go. This is the break. This is the first, first game in the match. Here we go. Rodney lost a little control of the cue ball, and that cost him a shot if he had kept it in the center. I don't know if he's going to push her or try to nick the one. I don't know if he has enough room to nick the one or not. Yeah, it looks like he's going to push Personally, I think it pushes in order on this one, because if you nick it, you have the chance of leaving the shot. If he puts it over on the side there, and that's where he's going. Well, if he if he could what? see it, he has enough cue ball control to I think put he it got any that, place he, he wants. He let that one go because yeah, I bet did. you Ronnie's going to push that uh, one right off the five in the side. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to put the one in the in the side. He has perfect shape for the two, and he should be able to draw the cue ball enough away from the three to not hit it. Yeah, he's got about three or four inches off the rail on the back. He's there. got a good angle on this. First one. shot of the day for Ronnie Alcano, folks. Here we go. The angle that he has pushes the cue ball towards the two. So as long as he makes the shot, he should be okay. He's not one to miss very often.
Live stream shot. news, good point. Make sure to check out the stats for this game. Okay, Donna, so you got a pretty there good today? roll there. Two sitting right in the side. Cooltracks.net, folks. Don works really hard to keep all the stats all the time and let us know that everything is working. There he is, that pool stats guy. Hey, welcome to. Good to see you this morning. This afternoon, today, hell, I don't even know what time it is yet. So we got the uh, game going still. And he's left himself in a tough place. He had pretty good good shape there. Trying to get too fancy. Came down and got on the wrong side of the three. He could bank it. I don't see him doing that, though. The hardest part here is coming back on, on his side of the table with a cue well, ball. He can, he can go up close to the two, up to the, the corner there. Get real deep in the corner and go three rails and brings him down for the four. It's just going around. You know, you don't want to be going around that table, that's all. So he's looking at that right now. See if he's got room to get past that seven. Bring his cue ball down to the third rail. He's going to end up back down the, on the this other option this is uh, thin it two reels go back to the left side and do a good cut on this on the four ball too with the magic that these uh, Filipinos pull off we can talk what he's thinking and we have no idea He went for the bank. Uh, I think that was an unsuccessful attempt at a good save. I don't, I, I don't know. Can see he might have been trying to just bank that right Yeah, I think there. he's trying to bank it because look where he left the cue ball. It's in the right place to cut the, the four in the corner. So it wasn't a... I didn't like that shot. That's something I would shoot, you know? I don't expect these guys to be shooting like me. I expect them to be playing power level. A little English off the rail here. He's going to draw it. That was sweet. Right through the hole. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's confidence for you. See, that's how you're supposed to play the game. At that level, he plays it right. He, was, You know, he was on the uh, Moscone Cup two years ago. That's right. And he's a top player in the world. No slouch. Well, so is Ron Arcano. You know, they, he goes over to Japan all the time and knocks down those tournaments. Got a little bit straight that that's not going to be a problem for the Rocket. I think he'll go two rails. One. Uno, dos, and back down. Okay, first game is going to, well, that's going to be an edgy cut. It's a relatively tough cut, but he, it's a type of cut. Ducky, you got, you got uh, Josh Palmer on line Oh, here. hey, Josh. How you doing, Daddy? You should be down here taking off all the loose fruit. Nice well, shot. first game goes to Mr. Morris. It's one nothing. Rodney Morris over Ronnie O'Connell here at the You're going to take your computer to bass fishing? That's a good idea. Where do you go up to the lake up there? Where do you go? You have to take my wife sometimes. She likes to fish. Okay, back to the match. Well, he had, he had control on the cue ball and got a bad kick on it this time. One, two, three, four. So he didn't make anything on the break, and he left uh, Alcano off Dry break draft. and a, a kind of a difficult position to try to push from, because almost anywhere on the table, that one ball is going to be loose for a shot. Well, he can cut that but almost gonna, anywhere gonna, on the he, table. He, I, he may be playing for a kick, make Ronnie a kick at the ball. You know, someplace he knows is a good kick for him. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was, I was just thinking about that. 
What the thing about it is he, he might be able to spin this ball around the four, and then you got the natural spin to no, make he's, the one. He's, on, he's got about a half of that four ball covered, and I can see it from this angle. Does he get his jump cue out? Look out down the line, folks. Yep, he does. This is kind of a That's a long far. jump, man. Yeah. Nice Ooh, shot. that was a beautiful jump, I must tell you that. Hit it, hit, hit it almost perfectly. I'm old school Kentucky. I don't believe in those jump cues. I don't either. Oscar's on the hill against Greg Harada. Oscar's on the hill against, against Greg, Greg Harada right now. Winner of the match plays Jason Shaw, if you heard that. And we're going to be streaming that one next. Wow, we've got some power pool up here, folks. Okay, knowing, knowing uh, Ronnie here, there's no reason why this wouldn't be a one-to-one -one game. He likes to bank these balls. I mean, he had a big hole there, but... That's a second bank attempt. Well, this games. time was successful. Last one, he just hit, hit it real bad. It looks like you got just enough angle. That was perfect. I like that. Just enough angle to roll it right up on that five. Mm -hmm. Just a smooth roll. I nice love shot. that smooth stroke. Good stroke. Man, was yeah. that nice? Wow. And he'll That's just like roll so down to the rail. He'll come back up. This is a, clean, this place. Is a clinic go. right now, folks. Watch this. This is the way you play nine ball. This is a stop, stop shot. shot. Stop shot, yep. stop shot. Another stop. There'll be four stops. Dink. That was the second one. Maybe move it up about two inches. No, he won't have to. Oh, he's going to come out rather than down. Yeah, he wants to shoot to, uh, shoot Same in pocket. this corner. Nope. Oh, fooled me. That's okay, what too. Do I mean, just watching and talking here. Thank you for the kudos out okay, there. Okay, that's Pino. why Ronnie has won so many tournaments. Well, we got a. <coughs> A nose-to-nose -nose horse race. It's one-to-one. -one. Rodney Morris, Ronnie Alcano. Ronnie's at the switch. The crowd's picking up. Spring, stream's been up since what? About 11 o'clock this morning? I don't shut know. I didn't get here till... We shut her down about 4 a.m. I didn't get here till noon. I mean, that's... Down in the front. <laughs> uh, if you can't see it around me, too bad. Mr. Alcano's about to hit it. Second round out. Let's see what happens. Let's see how he does on the big shot. Nice power Ronnie break. is sponsored by uh, Tiger Q's. He just got a new one made. Uh, he just took delivery on it a couple of weeks ago. I think this is, let's see if this is the one he's right. playing with today. Yeah, this is the winner's side. Well, we got eight, eight players left on the white. winner's side. He had an all white uh, tiger down at the uh, Swanee. Nice break, good split. Hey, I see Mr. Efren Suarez has joined us. He's chowing down for the morning. He looks comfortable. What do you got? He's trying to feed no, us. I have no. I can't. Looks good. Can't feed on the on the line here. We got to work pool and work the chat room here. I don't know if he can slide this. If he makes this, he'll be Scotty. sliding this ball we down the rail. It. It's a tough shot. It's a pro you know, shot. With these, with these tight pockets, that's going to be a real finesse shot if he tries to slide that down the rim. Well, mostly this is it going to, is he going to be able to slide it? And I think he will. This is a precision shot from him. Oh, oh my Jesus Christ. I'm speechless. That <laughs> was an amazing shot. And look at the shape. Uh, he came off the rail on that shot, didn't he? To you make bet, that? You bet he did. He came off the rail and kicked that ball. Everybody, this is, is that what I saw? World class pool. No, he cut it. He cut it, but it was so tight on the cut that it, it was it looked like he, almost it looked ball like and he, rail at the same time. It looked like he kicked it off the rail. 
I don't care what he did. That's one of the most oh, no, amazing shots I've ever it was a seen great in shot. my life. You know, I, I never in a million years would have thought that shot. Well, I was thinking about it. I thought, oh. This is the creativity you see. Oh, right on the money. Yeah, wow. that's some good shooting here. Folks, that was amazing. It takes more than confidence, I'll tell you. All right, so that's the second rack that he's run. You're right. He's Confidence run two straight racks. Heck of a shot there. Heck of an out by Mr. If anybody, if anybody one. saw that shot better than I did, I don't know. It looked to me like he kicked that ball in <coughs> off the rail. I'd like for somebody to tell us if he cut it in or kicked it in. It was one a word, cut. One okay. word to sum that one up. Wow. It was still always a great shot, no matter just, what it just was. Just a wild. Didn't kick. Comes in on the okay. chat. All right. I'll accept that. Cut shot. Thank you. The camera's in our way up here. We got Thank the you, cameras Clint. right in the middle of our viewpoint. View. You know what we need to do? Maybe we can move over a little bit and I can see around the camera. I'm, yeah, Kentucky's I'm, got a slight camera block. Well, plus my eyes are blocked. Here, let's move over a little bit so I can see what's uh, going on. Kentucky can't see. I just can't see the table. That's fine. Oh, what is that anyway? Is that the teriyaki chicken? Oh, it looks good. Good food here. Um, Ronnie's got a three ball combination. Cue ball's in the right place. Let's see if he's got enough edge on the one. He's taking a look at it. Oh, I think he does. You can see the one almost the whole ball. Okay. You know, that, that's Rodney. It's, it's really a shame that Rodney never really puts any oomph into them, that he just babies the shots all the time. <laughs> you, know, you guys can probably hear that one out there all the way without the microphone. There's a nice, smooth shot, you know. Well, as, as, as hard this as kid for, must work out. He's solid as a rock. Look at those arms. His arms are as big as my thighs, for Christ's sake. Rocket man, you got it. That was the rocket. He's, he guns. still works out. You know, he, he learned how to work out a few years ago, and, and he's still doing it every day. It just goes to show you that any sport that requires physical activity, and believe it or not, a lot of the top players, a lot of the top players have an exercise program they go through every day. You know, because you got to be physically fit to play from what time we start yesterday? 11 o'clock yesterday? Ended that 10 o'clock last night, some of the matches. Some of the matches went further. You got to get back up, play again at 11 o'clock this morning. I mean, it's a long day. Here's a little trivia. Interesting for you folks, if you can see it in the background, Oscar uh, Dominguez is practicing straight ends long straight ends across right down right up at the top there just line the balls up shot after shot after shot straight shot with draw and those are your hardest shots and that shows you that even the top pros use that practice on the straight ends meanwhile back at the table ronnie's got an open rack notice his cue ball he doesn't move his cue ball around very much Six inches. Straight pool style. Yeah. They, in the Philippines, they learn how to play rotation before they learn how to play anything. Well, you talk about having to play precise position. He's got the table roll down today, too. Look at that shot, folks. Two rails right on the button. Slight angle. Get back over on the six. Had to drive that ball a bit, had to stun it to get over where he wanted. Just a tad short. He would have liked probably to make a couple inches more over, but... I think this is perfect. No I, I'll take this. Yeah, well, my only, my only slight criticism on that, I would rather not shoot with the bridge. But on the other hand, what you were just talking about with rotation, you end up shooting a lot with the bridge. Yeah, and he actually should use the bridge on this shot. But he thought he could, you know, wasn't that bad. Notice, folks, just a nice slight angle to drag it over for the nine. <clears throat> well, seesaw match looks to me. Here we go, three-two. Ronnie Alcano, Rodney Morris. Okay, so we've got Rodney three, Rodney Morris two, and Ronnie Alcano 
three. Great pool is absolutely, stream keeps chopping. Can't do anything about it. We might have a, a weak, uh, we might be having a, a connection problem. Hey, we're just joined by Jason Shaw. How you doing, Jason? Good, good. You ready to rock and roll today? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I've been uh, up early, feel good. Work out in the morning? There's no, um, there's no gym at the hotel. So. Bummer. That's okay, you look in great shape anyway. You're young, you can deal with that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been... Yeah, I'm trying to sit and watch. I'm on the stream next against uh, Moscow, I think. Who's your, who's your, your match is coming up next, right? Oh, that's why Oscar's working out, because he knows he's up. Folks, now we know why Oscar's on the table. He's going to be playing Jason Shaw right here on this table next match. Thanks for joining us, Jason. It's really nice to see you this morning. Jason was here till all hours last night, but he looks bright and cheery this morning. Till, um, till the clocks changed, and then I realized it was 3 o'clock and went to bed. Yeah, well, that time change didn't help either, did it? You got any feelings on this match? You think Rodney, Ronnie, or who? Rodney's been playing good again, and uh, I think Rodney's got Ronnie's number. So I fancy, uh, I fancy Rodney to do the job, but Ronnie looks as if he's playing good. It just, it's interesting, Cal players of your caliber in a situation like, do you have a preference of either person, or do you just sit there and watch the match and let it happen and you'll take whoever's there? Yeah, just let it go. Whoever's shooting the best and gets the breakdown is going to win, you know what I mean? Hell of a Very shot. nice that shot. Was a hell of a kick. And most hell people have shot. tried to play the combination there, and he played it the right way. Played it off the rail to build it into the pocket. He just got the, the three took kind of a bad roll and got too far. So you're going to have to play the combination now or safe. He can play a three rail safe, put his cue ball behind the eight. Are we betting? You bet we are. You bet we're betting. You want to commentate for a little while or you want to meditate? <laughs> Folks, that, oh, oh, he's, oh, bad that's, yeah, that's a problem when you play a shot like that, you uh, end up in Jason's trouble. Jason's getting set for the next match. He's just going to sit here and watch and throw in a comment every now and then. Everybody say hi to Jason Shaw. Got to be a Jason Shaw fan club out there, folks. It's young man. Oh, he got the kick. But that's gonna Good hit. Oh, he caught it going back, but... I can see Rodney was sitting in front of me. Yeah, well, when, when Rod... <laughs> Is that a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, Bob, yeah. I like her. We got it. Jason got that one. Lenny says hello. Lizard Lip says hi, Jason. Hey, you got a Jason Shaw man club going here, Jason. Everybody's out. Everybody at Steinway Billiards says hello. Yep, hello. I'm missing you guys. <laughs> Okay, so in the meantime, Rodney's running out. Wow, you got a great fan club coming, buddy. Outstanding. That unfortunate roll on uh, Ronnie cost him the game. Yeah, it has. So Rodney's like just going to fire this ball on this side and then a nine. Diamond's girlfriend. Oh, wow. Jason knows you're here, Angie. Okay, Rodney Morris has tied the match. Ronnie Alcano three and Rodney Morris three. What do we got? An even Steven match? It is an even match. Three to three. Even up. Three three. So only three or four deep here at California Bears on a Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day in California. It's beach weather as usual. And right now we're stuck in a dark pool room. We love it. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I have never seen Oscar in between matches practicing shot after shot after shot after shot. I think he knows he's got his hands full coming up with Jason Shaw. Go Rocket. We got one for the Rocket, Fast Money. 
Giovanni made a ball and a break. He's got a shot on the two. The three is open. He's looking at the four. He could draw straight back into the four right now to break it up. Yep. If he draws straight back right now, he's he'll break up any trouble that he's got. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. He's got just a little angle, just enough to, just enough to. It looks like he's going to do that. Ooh. Oh, he didn't make the didn't make the object Looking at the ball, cue ball. This is going to be a little bit position, a little bit of stroke work to get down on the three. You saw that, didn't you? I mean, how he it, he could draw that ball back into the combo, break up his trouble. That's what Jason was just talking about. Oh, okay. About. <laughs> I didn't hear you guys. No, I was I'm sorry. He's, I was talking to myself. There. <laughs> I think uh, I think he can just draw the cue ball to the middle of the table here. Yeah, he's, he just goes to the rail and spins it back a little bit. You must play pool, Jason. You seem to have a feel for this. Just a little bit. Uh, Oscar's playing golf on the next table by the looks of it. <laughs> that was good. Nice cut, pulled it back to get that four ball. Oscar nearly made the three ball for um, Ronnie on this table. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's going to okay. go the rail here. Get shape on the six. You got straight in. He don't want straight in. You got just got enough just of an angle. angle, yeah. He can go two rails down to the bottom rail and over to the side. Three, three. Three, three? Yep. You don't need the man. Should be. We're double checking the string over there. Jason seemed to think the score is 3 2. I think it's 3 3. Yeah. We're all about accuracy now. Who likes what with Sean Oscar? A little feedback on that. I'll tell you, Oscar's, Oscar okay, must so, be a little uh, nervous about Jason because he's over there shooting shots all day. Ronnie missed a very makeable shot. Oh my left, God. He left Rodney with a straight end. You can't do this against a rocket. You want okay. to want to win against him, you can't miss shots like that. Oh, jeez, oh, folks. Rodney almost scratched. I think Rodney got a little out of control. He knows he's walking around there going, whoops, I got Well, lucky. you know what? He doesn't have to really worry here. This is an easy, easy shot. To place to place shape on, no matter where he gets on the table, except right down here at the corner. You know he's I'm got you, shape. That was two. That was two close ones in a row. Yeah. This one I don't think he'll rattle. Yeah. He's. Rodney takes the lead. Well, he, he was very fortunate that game to even have another shot. There's no way he's supposed to have another shot. You know, generally, Marty's out yeah. from where he was, and he he just didn't concentrate on that seven ball. And you know, yeah, and then and then Ronnie tried to give it back to him. You know, he didn't shoot that eight very well. Who's the? Uh, is this a relative? Yeah. Ah, uh, Jason's got a really cute shot of his little nephew on uh, on his phone while he's answering all of his fan mail. Okay, so Ronnie's getting ready to break here. He is the got four. Rocket going to take off, folks. And Ronnie has three. It's four to three. So he made a ball, he's got an open shot on the one. Goes right down to the two, shoot the three in the side. Can actually stop the cue ball there and, and make the five. I don't know if the three goes in this corner or not. Down here by this end. If the three goes in this corner, he should be out. Yeah, that's what I would do too. Play it long. Oh, I hit it bad. Real bad. Boy, that was a mistake. Well, mistakes are eating out. One last he match. Had, uh, 12 and, uh, he drew the ball straight into the three. He really didn't even have to hit that ball. You know, he's been playing really good, and today he doesn't look, um, he looks a little off his game today. Well, everybody makes mistakes, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can't play pool you're, and not make a mistake. You're not human if you don't make a mistake. That's right. Well, so the safety here is just to ticky the three a little bit, get it past the side, and then come down behind the nine, the eight, nine. He looks like he's going to try to get behind a seven. Nice shot. 
Beautiful, beautiful, nice speed, very beautiful that shot. That was really good speed. And he's got the he's got the three on the wrong side of the pocket for Ronnie. And he kicked the three out just enough. Yeah. That he protected it from this end. This is going to be a tough one. You can come down to the bottom rail and do a kick, but it's not it's not a really not what you call a good shot. Well, if he kicks off the bottom rail, you're gonna have to put some serious spin on him. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it's at it's at a, he has a good enough angle to do that. Could you jump it from? Yeah, he could jump it, but I think kicking it's a better option. He can uh, he can make it if he kicks it. Oh, good point. Right. Could scratch in the side pocket. You know, uh, this is the right shot, kicking. It's such a good kicker, you know. And early in the rack too, like yeah. combo. Wow. Whiff. Wow. I just cost. Hey, honey. Yeah, that just cost me. Yeah. Right. How's it going? You want to you want to get a you want to get a That was all due to that really great kick off a bad position. That's called how you recover it when you get in trouble. <laughs> it's a challenge. <laughs> two mistakes by Alcano, two games to Rodney Moore. <laughs> you can't afford to make mistakes again so when you play someone. Uh, the same speed on you, you know? Oh, at the level you guys play, absolutely. <laughs> nice stroke on that ball. Very, very nice stroke. He comes straight down the table, put the eight in the opposite corner. I think he needs to um, follow the ball with a um, little left. Yeah, a little left. What's the Rodney Moore stroke shot? Stroke shot, right? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, got a roll. A little bit short. Yeah, but you know, he can draw it away from the eight. Go two rails. He'll he'll, he'll stun the ball so he draw, so on the bottom rail it dies. Jason, how would you shoot that one? Um, I think I would just try and draw it softly and kiss the nine and drift the white across. I don't like kissing a nine because I because of the scratch involved. Yeah. I try to draw it past the past yeah, the nine. Could do that, but I think you could just roll it. No. Oh, he went four Jesus rails. It's, this is a Rodney Moore special right here. Well, yeah, this is a Rodney Shikes. You know, he's, well, they don't call him the rocket for nothing, you know. Yeah, but he came up short. <laughs> All right, so this nine ball is going to have some paint missing after he shoots this. <laughs> Flipping a coin. Uh, which, to which that was cool. He flipped okay. a coin for All the right. side, folks. It's a little actually humor in the middle shot. of a tense match. That's a, that's a way to break up, you know. If you if you feel tense, he just broke it up for himself, you know. All righty. Called the coin flip, right? Now what he's saying there, he sent a message to Alcano just then. He said, "I don't care where the where it is, I'm going to shoot it and I'm going to make it," you know. When he did that, that not only did something for the crowd, but that did something for Alcano too. He's telling him, "You can't beat me." When he does that. Statement. Absolutely. Okay, so we have Rodney Morris with five games and Ronnie Alcano with three. Perhaps it's a winner side you, match. Perhaps, Jason, you were correct in your assumption that Rodney is the one that's going to pull it. He does seem to be shooting pretty well. His brain's in the right spot. Yeah, it's not a. Uh, it was a little off. He's a pretty moody player. He's yeah. either up or he's down. You know, in between. Over there at the Swanee, he played brilliant, and then yeah. suddenly it, it drop off. Now, oh, can he make that three? Does he have a, has he enough room to make it? He's going to have to get behind it on the left side. He can draw it straight back and, and uh, get behind a nine, it looks like. I think he's got a little too much angle to draw it straight. Well, then he can just, you know, he can put some kill on it and put it between the four and five. Buck says he's got too much angle. I can't tell from here. We'll see. Five three, the score is. Well, I guess he can make it. 
He might be playing it off the seven. Billiard you know, off the seven? No, I think he can make it. Yeah. Here, then he's going to play safe. He put his cue ball down on the bottom rail. Well, see, that's the problem with that shot. You could bank the four and try and make the five. Good point. Two way shot? Yeah. But it looks like he's going to play safe. He's going to put his cue ball behind a nine. He's looking at the six now. Yeah. Oh, good call, Jason. See, that way he doesn't double kiss. He doesn't double kiss the four that, that way. If he, he shoots it up table behind a nine, there's a chance he could double kiss the four. Put him in real trouble. Well, he's sticking, he's really putting Ronnie in positions, isn't he, Jim? Yep. Jump shot coming. Yeah, I think Ronnie's going to try and bank the four ball to the side, but try and draw into the five, maybe. The same thing as Rodney had the possibility of, is that we're going to do with a jump. Here we go. With a tight jump. Uh, I would have to say bad luck again. Well, you're talking about a bunch of, you're talking four or five sh stop shots yeah. here. Yeah. No, I think he's going to play the pole ball on the side and bump the nine. So you get a little angle for the six? That's a good, good idea. Call, Jason. Yeah. That's why you're there and I'm here. Yeah, I'm Chuck Norris. Ronnie's a really nice guy. Um, I don't know if you know him or not, but uh, I got to know him in the last couple of months and uh, he's a really good, really good guy. You know, I, I, uh, I played him a couple times down at hard times before you guys were yeah. there. First time he was completely quiet and shy. Second time he comes over and strikes up a conversation. And then when I see him up here again, he's all smiles. So just got to warm up to him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a nice guy. Notice he finally shaved after he played you. <laughs> yeah. Well, three mistakes, three lost games in a row. Folks, that shows you the intensity at this level. Okay, another out for Rodney. Played a good save. I mean, it shows you how important safeties are, too, in this game. Rodney Moore, six Did games, he really? Ronnie Alcano, three. Really? Angie, is that right? Yes, sir. J Jason says yes. We got 6-3, Rodney Morris over Ronnie Alcano at the moment. Yeah, he uh, made up a song about me. So when do we get to hear the song? You need to ask Ronnie about that one. Nothing bad to do. Livestream news, thank you very much for our sponsors. Links here, KamuiTips.com, PlayTheGameClothing.com, and us, POVPool.com. We're here broadcasting live from the California Billiard Club in Mountain View, California. This is a winner's side match between Rodney Morris, Ronnie Alcano, and three mistakes only in this game, in this match by um, California Q Sports is another sponsor we have here. Thank you very much for all your help as well. Three mistakes by Ronnie has cost him three games, put him down six to three. You know, the. are you familiar with the California uh, uh, Q-Sports? No, I'm not. Tell doing? me a little more about it. Well, they're, they're starting a one-pocket league. First of its kind, one-pocket league. That a one-pocket league? One, a one-pocket league that has uh, handicaps. Wow, how cool is yeah. that? Well, it's, it's it shows you cool. the popularity coming yeah. up of, of yeah. one-pocket. And that's what it's trying to do. They've got 60 players in three different locations. Each each person. Jason just chimed in. Same count. Oh my God. Oh, oh, nice shot. Oh, almost. Jason called it again. Didn't Rodney, it. this, ladies and gentlemen, this shows you the power of good kicks in nine ball. Of safeties. It's a four. See, I, that's what I meant to say. Sorry, safeties. That's Four the fourth, fourth game in a row that Rodney Morris trapped him. Yeah. So anyway, the Q-Sports, they're going to be playing. He wanted to be between the eight and the nine. That's why he's uh, shaking his head. Nice two-rail spin. 
get him back in line. Wow, what I really thought was going to be a wire to wire, nose to nose. Uh, it's still a good match. You know, this it's is a, a good match. match. Well, yeah. it, it goes to show you. You make a mistake, you have a positive side and negative side. And the positive side, Rodney trapped him with some really good safeties, and Rodney couldn't capitalize and get back on it. Not over yet. You know, Rodney's won four games for all, and Rodney could win four games for all. Well, you know, they could, somebody could just cut loose with a four-pack. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It only takes one break. Rodney, right now, Rodney's getting the breaks. He's making the breaks, so, you know, that's, that's another Creating thing. Creating his do. own good luck. That's right. You got to do that in nine ball. Well, any, anything in Rodney pool, you got to do that. You got you to gotta make, you make your own game. He's going to draw this. Wow. Jason, you know, one thing I noticed about Rodney, he's slowed down just a little bit over his normal rapid play. Watch him walking around the table. He's just a little calmer, taking just a hint more time. Okay, we've got uh, Rodney Morris on the hill, seven games, and Ronnie Alcano with three games. Ronnie's, Ronnie's taking advantage of, you know, mistakes by Ronnie. Well, like you said, he created, it, it's a two-way. Yeah. He put him in tough spots, but Ronnie, Ronnie's a great kicker, though. It's oh, usually no, absolutely. he gets out of spots. You, you've seen, you've seen he almost made that, happen. too. Yep. You know, just, he just gave, it just gave a little more oomph, and he would have made that, too, and he would have been out. You know, Almost this good in horseshoes and grenades. And Adam bombs. <laughs> oh, I don't think he hooked him on the break. No, no, he's clean on the one. He could get out. Now, if he, this will be interesting, Jason. If he capitalizes right here, the five ball looks like it might be a slight problem, but. I hate you. Your 24-year-old eyes are better than mine. <laughs> oh. Well, Jason's got 2020 in about 50 years on <laughs> How old are you now? 24. That's what I thought. That's what De Darren was telling me down at this morning. So he's got 30 years. That was a one-liner. That was good, folks. All right, this is the position. This is the whole thing right here, folks. Look at that. Look at that, Jason. Spot on. But Ronnie, you. Uh, Lenny, you gave him the ears up in pounds, you know, not years. That was sweet. Now let's see. I, I think you're right, Jason. Looks like he's going over for it. Smooth. Is he straight or has he got enough to pop it? Easy. Easy, easy. He's all right. He's gonna have to stretch a little. Left hand, no, Filipino style. Filipino style. Behind the back, a little razzle dazzle, folks. Well, it may be not not yet be you and Rodney. That was a nice run out, folks. Rodney tried to make a statement with a coin flip on the last one, and Rodney says, you can't bother me. Okay, we got a score of Rodney Moore, seven, Rodney Alcano, four. Now, you, you knew Filipino Gene, right? Yeah. Well, the Filipino Gene is probably a few years before you, but he used to play people behind his back. Filipino Gene, that was his name. And, and he, one of his uh, games was that he would play the whole game behind his back. He won all the time. Everything's fine. Okay? Everything's fine. Go ahead. I'll handle it. We got it. Here, you want to play with the mic? Yeah, I'll what? play with it. I like playing with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's taking over here, uh, joining me in the booth. 
You want the big chair so you can see it? Not no. by Rodney. I'm sure Rodney's going to make a mistake and Rodney's going to run out. Jason's, Jason's graduated from high chairs. No. Dry break? Take a little bit Here. You want to come over? I'll just move over. Take this. Take this off. We're just moving over here. Let's untangle the microphones. I think you're overlapping. <sighs> Underlapping. Okay, we're good. Okay, Jason's up top with me now. What's up? Say hello to me, Mum in Wales. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Well, this is interesting. We're uh, we got uh, Rodney on the hill. Yeah, I'm good. And he's going to tie up Rodney again. <laughs> this has been a match of. Uh, well, Jason, he just uh, trapped him again. Yeah, I just got a message from my manager. He's um, sweating all the action up in uh, New York. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Well, this is a uh, this is probably the turning point. This could be it right here. Let yeah, me... this could be the end of the match, or could be um, could be the start of something for Ronnie. <laughs> Looks to me like this this is a kick where you just got to kick. You can't kick offensively. Yeah, you got to you got to kick it and hope that. Well, you never know. Those Filipinos they, um, they like to be creative on the kick shots. Point made. Point made. You know that even. And that's why than they're the best kickers in the world. Yep. They look, oh, let's see what he's, oh my god. He's, he's, two going, rails? he's going two rails and he wants to hit it either half ball or he wants to catch it full and send it past. You could make this in the side. This is the shot, folks. Oh, <gasps> he missed he it. He whiffs it again. Game over. You heard it from Jason, game over. Let's see if he's right. He's usually right. And Oscar continues to practice. Yep. The only thing that says to me, Jason, seriously, he's taking you very seriously, yeah. and he feels that he's got to be absolutely on board. You hit a ball today? Yeah, I played one match today. Um, I won eight, eight to two. Ooh, we under hit that. Just when you think it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can make this shot two rails back, but he certainly didn't want to be there. Hi, Pixie. <laughs> nice feel, nice stroke on that one. You get on the right side of it, just roll it up a little bit. You can just drop it in and take the five ball to the top pocket. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How do you like that red dot cue ball versus It's mid? okay, the Miso cue ball is the best cue ball out there. We should play every tournament with that. The this only one. thing with the, the red dot, it helps people with um, not a lot of stroke. It helps them draw the cue ball better because right. it's lighter. Lighter lighter just uh, catches and spins and runs yeah. like crazy. Yep. With the Miso cue ball, you gotta, you gotta hit it, you know what I mean? You gotta hit the cue ball. Yeah, that's what down there at Hard Times where I play, uh, it's all a measles ball. Yeah, it's the, I come up here and the damn cue well, ball was running like a Yeah, it's here. weird because we play all like world tournaments and tournaments back in Europe with the measles cue ball and then we come over here, it's like uh, one with the red dot, one with the blue and then they have a measles and it's crazy. That is a little strange, they should, they should make it uniform. And I was surprised like that. at the Derby City this year they had um, Downstairs, they were playing with the red dot, and upstairs on the 10 foot table, they were playing with the measles cue ball. Two different cue balls yeah. in one tournament? Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Got a comment from the side here in the finals, they played with a measles. Oh my god. That that would make you think, wouldn't that it? That was strange. <laughs> Very strange. And meanwhile, in the background, Oscar is still putting balls. Putting kicks now. Well, it looks like. Yeah, he played it with inside English. Yep. Well, everybody, barring natural disaster, this one could be history. I think it's over. 
You heard that from Jason Shaw. Yep. Game set and match. Over and out. Yep. You playing Oscar now? Yeah. Just over. Yep. I'm gonna love you and leave you, people. It's been a nice, nice chatting on the stream. Us, no problem. We appreciate it. It's always no problem. Good to see you. Good luck in the match. Thank you. Everybody, that was Jason Shaw. We just, we just saw a really good match here between Rodney and uh, Ronnie Alcano. Rodney takes it eight to four. And that also shows you, if you're watching the stream on this one, the absolute value of safeties and forcing your opponent to have a tough kick. Ronnie's a phenomenal kick shot man. And yet, four mistakes, four hooks, four misses, you're out. Next match coming up, everybody. It's gonna be a beauty, you see him in the foreground there. Jason Shaw just popping a ball on the table and in the background, his opponent still hitting balls. Oscar Dominguez. You booked a winner. You back? Yeah. I'll move back over. All right, so your cushion is on. Someone went down. What'd they do with it? They pushed it on the side? Uh, you gave it to somebody. And yeah, it was right it. here. Somewhere. Well, obviously, it's not here. That's weird. Because I'd be sitting on it if it was here. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, push it out here. We just right gave here. the guy to put down. No, 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 not that. Not that. He's got an orthopedic. Thing. Hang tight, folks. I'll be with you in just a moment. I'm gonna put the mic down. Okay, everybody, Mike Brown back with you. Welcome back to uh, POV Pool live stream. We're here at uh, California Billiard Club in beautiful Mountain View, California. The fourth annual Chet Ito Memorial Tournament. We'd like to put a little shout out to our sponsors here. Playthegame.clothing, playthegame.com clothing, Kamui Q-tips, And California Q Sports is another sponsor helping us out. We appreciate all of that. And any of you out there, the viewers, we've got, how many people we got on stream right now? 740 people on the stream. We appreciate your watching povpool.com. And if you'd like to help support us out here, send us all a donation to keep Daniel Bush and POV Pool live and running. We appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I just got back. I went over to the counter for a few minutes to take a break. And I, I think this is the match because uh, they pretty I do believe this is the serious. first break. We turned around for just a moment, folks. Here we go with Jason Shaw and Oscar Dominguez. This is a winner's side match. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to stop and start this No, no, no. Don't do a full intro, just like a casual half intro. 